This game I'm about to play is really amazing. Like, it has a deep story, and I haven't played it yet, and I just hear people talk about it. And it's like an old DS game, but please do not leave the video because I just said it's old and it's not related to anything I have on my channel. Just know that this game is really good, and I'm going to be doing parts of this. Freaking promise that, because this game is really good. Just going to shut up and just freaking do it already, because this game is just too good to ignore. Oh god, it's gonna freaking be awesome. We need a stylus for it. That's why there's no button controls. <laughs> Professor Litton and the Unwind Future. Jesus Christ. Freaking type in Deku. Let's go. This game is a work of function. The characters, the group. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Oh well. And here it is. It just doesn't seem to add up, Professor. I honestly thought you were pulling my leg. What? I wouldn't dream of it. Mm. Amazing. Professor, I hope this letter finds you well. As for me, I am in quite a predicament. This is good, and it even gives me an option. You see... The London we know and love has been thrown into absolute chaos. Hmm. To complicate matters, the calamity I speak of does not take place in your time. This may be difficult to believe, but I am writing to you from ten years in the future. So that means the professor already is dead, and this dude in the future. Okay, I understand. I know this is a lot to take in, but I'll explain it all soon. For now. I ask that you head to the clock shop on Midland Road in Baldwin. Hmm. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, get, I gotta get something to drink. This is really in interesting. Alright, I'm back, okay. I look forward to seeing you again. Your student, Luke Triton. Oh, that's his name is. This is amazing, this is good. Strange as it sounds, it seems that the author of this letter is none other than your future self, Luke. Hmm. From... My future self? But how is that even possible? Oh yeah, people. I'm actually lost on this game because one, this is the third game they made, and and I think the rest of the games are on like the Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo Wii U, and uh, this is like the third game they made for the DS. So the first guy, I had the first game, but I just never played it because I just didn't freaking play it. But I found this on the internet, and I was like, ooh, I have to play this third one because it has everything. And no, all the games have voice acting, so... Yeah, it's really good. I don't know, but it does raise the question, if this letter is indeed authentic, how did it get here? Time machine? I don't know. Um, by time traveling postman? <laughs> Just joking, of course. <laughs> it's facial expressions. But on a more serious note, I think this mystery might be the oddest one we've ever encountered. Yep. Indeed. And even in the future, you seem to need my help in solving it. Your constancy can be quite a comfort in these uncertain times, my boy. Really? Uh, well, thank you, I suppose. But back to the main question. How do we know the letter is real? Uh, that's a good, actual good question. Hmm. Well, we haven't much to go on yet. But I can't help but think that this strange occurrence is connected to the terrible events of last week. Hmm. Hmm. So I think this is from the other game. I don't have the other games. Professor Litson has recovered a letter from the unlikeliness of places. 
the future. The author claims to be Luke writing from 10 years in the future, but how is this possible? That's actually a good question. Okay. Another cutscene. started about a week ago. Using a six-dimension alpha distributor, I was able to guide a concentrated stream of ham and air particles through a temporal vortex, more commonly known as a wormhole. This stream of particles allowed me to divine the terminal points of the vortex. Armed with this information, the next step was to artificially distort the flow of time and generate a massive magnetic field via a silver <laughs> coil. Once the magnetic field is firmly established, one has the ability quite literally punch holes or hive gaps into the very fabric of space-time. Well, after this <sighs> crucial step, it is simply a matter of constructing an energy <laughs> well, Quite the uh, spread we have here, Inspector. Oh, they, they do it by itself. This is so freaking cool. I don't gotta read a. I don't even gotta read a word. That means you don't have to hear my horrible voice. I know. I'm sad. <laughs> Though it does make me wonder what we did to deserve invitations to such a feast. Hmm. It's obvious, Barton. I'm an influential man in the world of law enforcement. It's only natural I'd be invited to an important event such as this. Hmm. Uh, I suppose that's possible. I guess, but it's not possible. <laughs> possible, you say? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, probable. Highly probable, sir. <laughs> Who changes words? Tap to investigate. Oh, that's so cool. And I think this is how people came up with Danganronpa, because one, you have to go around the screen and collect on stuff. I want to play Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright, but mm, that's too close to. Don't you suppose that this time machine is the real one? Wow, look at the size of it, of that clock. What am I supposed to do? Oh, a cook on the people. Oh, you have to read. You know what? In game, I wish you. Okay. Hmm, well, the food is certainly not the right home of. Nothing wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah, very wrong. Y'all don't have. Y'all can skip parts of the video to freaking go to the next parts. I'm just gonna read it. I'm gonna mess up on words. I don't even know why. <laughs> Sorry you feel that way, uh, way, sir. I think that's quite ch chomp, chomp. Of course. Sc uh, sc scrumptious, scrumptious. My what? <laughs> oh, he says scrumptious. Okay. Bye. Over salt chop, chop and pie. I mean, pile of little greens has nothing on uh, animals cooking. Is that is it animals? What? If that's your feeling, sir, I'd be happy to relieve uh, relieve you of that um, burden. Now you hear, Barton. If you don't return my chop to me at once. I'll have you driving a desk next week. What? Next week? It would be worth it. Hmm. This roast is simply the de 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 delectable. I think that's what it says. Uh, so do we click on it again? Do I click on it? Or just click on it? And it's the same thing, I think. Right, it's not all that. So. I'm not really gonna read it out loud. I don't want y'all to hear my freaking voice, but I don't know. Okay. So, what is this? So this is a. It actually has it has an a, 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 a my freaking mouth. So do we have to use the controls? Because we can't use the controls. Are we even supposed to use the controls? Okay, so the controls are no long... You can't really use the controls in this game. These buttons don't even work. I mean, they, they work, but if I had the actual game cartridge, it still wouldn't let me use the buttons. So I really have to 
use this mysteries okay save oh I can save yeah Deku Fox wait can I save again that freaking noise I just want to listen to that again since I have my speakers and it has surround sound it actually does sound pretty cool but huh? oh my gosh 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 I'm gonna back all right, I'm back. Freaking my mom walking in the door. But, hmm. Can't access that yet. Can I talk to these people? Oh, this food is simply dreadful, Bill. Uh, do get this over with quickly so we can leave. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes, dear. I have to say, I feel a bit out of place here, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's quite understandable, Luke. I'm sure most people would feel the same way in the presence of the Prime Minister. Huh. Hey, look! I think I see Inspector Chelmy over there. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So, Professor, what do you think about this whole event? Do you believe that someone has really built a working time machine? I'm not entirely sure. Still, if it proves to be true, can you imagine the stir it will cause in the scientific community? Yep. It'll, it'll ruin science completely. Hmm. Science would be totally ruined. I mean, the books wouldn't even exist. Well, I for one am very excited. What? Though you don't sound entirely convinced, Professor. But, hmm. Anything's possible, Luke. But I won't be convinced until I've seen the contraption work for myself. <laughs> hmm. And I must confess, something about this entire presentation seems a bit off. Hmm. Why do you say that? Ah, of course. That must be your famous intuition talking, huh? Bruh. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. But enough speculation. Look over there, Luke. That guard? What about him? He seems to be looking ah, for a man who snuck into the event uninvited. Right there. Oh, so we have an intruder in our midst. Hmm. So do I, do I, um, do I still use the, um, do I still use these buttons? Can't really use them. No, you're not supposed to use these buttons. Oh, right there. Okay, okay, okay got him. Oh dear, this is not going to go over well. You look troubled, sir. Might we be of assistance? Any of us Oh, yes, please. You see, I've just received a report of someone on untoward behavior. Hmm? What? Puzzle? This is a puzzle is worth. What? Um, 1010? What is that supposed to be? What? Oh, snap. I, I gotta use my freaking brain. Jesus Christ, I think that thing is out of commission. <laughs> hmm. This is really an investigational game, and it says touch. Use the stylus to drag. I, mean, I got my stylus, I got an LG Stylo. Use the stylus to drag the guard into the bottom corner of the touch screen to a table. When you have the correct table, tap submit. I got it correct. That's a relief. I got it correct on the first try. Jesus Christ, my little brain must be smart, cause <laughs> I freaking did it on the first try. 
I didn't even freaking do it. <laughs> I just chose a random spot. Oh well. <laughs> you found the party crasher. Now it's time to let the guard. This game is good so far. He said, "Here's my answer." Like, like some freaking, <laughs> some freaking Phoenix Wright thing. <laughs> puzzle one. Oh boy, do we gotta do a hundred puzzles in this game or two hundred? Because I know puzzles are gonna go. I mean, get harder and harder throughout the game, and I am not that good at puzzles. So I got that one off of luck. About I'm burning. Burning points are the, and. Dedicate a puzzle a fish a difficulty the normal the more Pisser it's a puzzle is worth it the tougher tougher it gets oh no Tougher it is when you submit an incorrect answer for the, uh, for a puzzle the number of friends you Can earn from the puzzle decreases so think carefully before answering I Didn't even think oh, oh I would have been I would have been wrong Oof. Gathering lots of picarets. I'm trying to freaking say this word right. Maybe y'all can read it. Maybe I'm the dumb one today. Cause man, my little brain. <laughs> Once you've beaten the game and save, saved, go to the bonus section and load your game file from there. You can enter the top screen area where I, where a number of fun extras are waiting for you. The more park pickerets, I don't know, I'm just, you've earned to more. Okay, okay, okay. I really hope I remembered that because my <laughs> I might not remember that. Oh, okay. So you want to say pew? It's it's, it's not p h e. W. It's um W H E W. That's how you freaking do it. So it's phew. Thanks so much for your help. The, f the fellow's smushing days are over. Did you see that, Professor? I just <laughs> ate it in the. Man, he's freaking. Man, I found things this was just for a little kid to read. Oh, look, the. The preparations, I hope I, st the presentation is about to begin. Now let's get back to the gate seats, seats. Oh God, Jesus Christ. Um, am I supposed to sit down? Okay, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Thank you for taking part in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history. And here to demonstrate mankind's first time machine is its creator, Dr. Alan Stangan. Amazing. Yeah. Clap my hands, bro. Thank you, my esteemed colleagues. After years of research in the field of time travel, I'm pleased to share the fruits of my labor. All right. In just a few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. But first, I am delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawks is in attendance today. As such, I have reserved a very special seat for our very special guest. Hmm. Please, join me on stage, Prime Minister. No need to be shy. <laughs> Bro, I thought he was shy for a second. Okay, okay, okay. Is this thing real? It looks real. What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, is this contraption a genuine working time machine? Hmm. Why don't you have a seat? See for yourself. <laughs> of course. The classicness of just luring into, the, into for you to go inside a machine. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words, Prime Minister? Uh, like he's gonna die or something? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I thought I thought they were like going bye bye, like. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a monumental day, not only for our great nation, but for the entire human race. Since the beginning of time, 
We humans have strived to transcend our natural limits. Hmm. We have conquered the skies and the seas, and we have even traveled to outer space. True, man. True. Wait, was NASA there? No. <laughs> but dumb. But the one frontier that has always eluded us is time. Yeah. I always wanted to just look everybody, just sit down, relax, and just think about the past if you want to change. Okay, I kind of wish I just hadn't uh, t t taken something from a freaking mom. I just just wish I hadn't have done that. And I just wish I hadn't gotten in trouble a long time ago at school. I could still have my amazing 3DS. I just wish I... I wait, why, why am I going back to my past? <laughs> freaking playing a game here. Indeed. Traveling through time is a dream many thought was out of reach for humanity. <laughs> Until now. How do you know this thing works? You're just talking about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will join me in ushering in a new era for mankind. All right. Thank you for those words, Prime Minister. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Yes, yes, yes. Please take it away, Dr. Stangan. <laughs> Thank you. I have just one more request before we start. All right. What's, what's that request? I'd very much appreciate the Prime Minister's assistance in this demonstration. Of course, you're trying to get rid of him. Mm hmm Yeah. I haven't even played this game yet, and I am thinking, I'm thinking I'm reading the future without even going into the future. Hmm. Conflicting story, huh? You're gonna need to listen quiet. Wait, wait, wait. Listen carefully. Listen close. And listen good. Your boy Ducky Fox is gonna teach you the true meanings of time travel. <laughs> I haven't even fucking prepared for that speech. <laughs> what do you say, Mr. Hawks? Yeah, don't listen to that guy. This guy should make you go bye bye. Don't listen to that guy. Look at his face. It's not even right. Just look at it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I assure you. There's no cause for concern. But uh, I was under the impression that I would merely be observing the proceedings. Ah, well, do forgive my presumption. Why do you want him? You it can't say... It never my wish to make but... you uncomfortable. Why do you want him? Well, why can't you just say, any volunteers? I would have been like, yeah. I would have been going to the future. I realize it's been some time since you traded in the hard sciences for the softer variety hmm. please feel free to return to your seat prime minister oh okay you're not really gonna force me okay wait oh. uh, what i mean to say is of course i can assist you bill have you lost your mind ah uh, that's the courage we've come to expect from our fearless leader you have my thanks mm. and now without further ado I give you my time machine. All Mr. Right. Hawks, would you mind just stepping inside? Oh, here's a cutscene. Oh, ooh. This is amazing. How do they put so much detail in this freaking game? This is amazing. This is outstanding. Oh, this is cool. You didn't say I love you kids or anything. What if he dies? That face, that face, that's not good. He's looking at him like... <laughs> that's, that face is not... I knew it. I hear him. <laughs> it don't mean something good. He pulled it down. Oh? What did he see doing? What the? What? He tried to kill him? He killed him? Oh! Something's gone very wrong. He killed? No. No. Oh my goodness. Is this from Dangan Rump? Where is he? Someone find Bill! 
ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm and refrain from panicking. How can you freaking... This is chaos. <laughs> the Prime Minister and Dr. Stungun have vanished. My word. Holy crap. And that was from last week? So you think that what happened last week is somehow connected to this letter? It all makes sense though, because if he went to the future and he said in the beginning that things has gone chaos, he's writing a letter to him because maybe the professor died. And the prime minister and the dude that made the machine, I don't know, probably killed him. I don't know. Maybe he just died of natural causes. But maybe he's like taking control of the future. Oh, snap, because maybe he's not supposed to be alive. Wait, maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too. I don't know about that, but these two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Tell me, Luke, have you heard about the recent disappearances occurring here in London? What? London? Oh, yes, I read about it in the paper. Some of London's greatest scientists have been mysteriously vanishing. So is he taking all the scientists with him? Yes, and I can't shake the feeling that those disappearances are linked to this whole affair. Hmm. In any case, it seems our best course of action is to head to the location mentioned in the letter. Okay. Good idea! Of course. Jesus Christ. So, if we click the... Okay, Prime Minister, okay, okay, we already know about this, and we're gonna figure it out. This is amazing, this is good so far. Hmm, that's pretty cool. It's like Avengers of Tintin. <laughs> Honoring the clue in the letter, the professor and I set off. What I waited for was one of the biggest mysteries we've ever encountered hmm and that was the intro oh my gosh that's the that's that's, that's amazing <clears throat> oh that's good that's good the papers to my dear friend Deku Fox <laughs> of course the classic somehow course. a single letter had made its way back through time and the sender Strange as it sounds, was me. The future me, that is. Hmm. Little did we know that this letter would draw us into the strangest of situations. Oh my goodness, you want to save your progress? Yes, people. We're gonna, I'm going to save my progress right now. And it's going to be a cliffhanger. I know, right? <sighs> it's a cliffhanger. Don't you just love them? That's right. Make that little ding -a -ding -a -ding. beautiful noise right there. Okay, wait a second. Well, I I can't just leave now because it's gonna do this. So, yeah. Oh, that oh that's a chapter prologue. The clock shop. Hmm. Right. Okay, people. I'm gonna leave this off with a juicy, nasty, maybe a beautiful, brutal cliffhanger. And I just want you to like this video and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell down below to see more of this well as if you want to see more just tell me in the comments down below do you want to see more of this this is really juicy and oh boy i love juicy background mystery stories <sighs> i mean you all wanted a role-playing game but i'll see you guys in the next video little boy becky fox back in his tail see you later bye bye wait <laughs> the shape of you Oh, 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 oh,